Okay. Have a sip of my coffee. No misunderstanding this time.、Mm. Hello, guys, and welcome back to another Monster Super League podcast. This is your host Mighty Leafy, and joining us today is once again the Almighty Leader of the Infamous Infamy Clan, Yugen. Hello. Hi. How、hey. have you been? I'm okay. How about you? I am not so okay. This clan fest、uh, has been average to me. Very average. Not so. Not so great. How about you? Yeah, pretty average as well. Not too good, not too bad. It's just really middle of the road. So yeah, but at least you got that water shiva, right? Didn't you? I did. Yeah. That is the ultimate goal for those of you starting out in the game. You want that water shiva as soon as possible. Now, am I right or am I right? Fight me. Yeah. No. Actually, no. He is pretty crap. You don't、oh, want a water、okay. shiva unless you're trying to build a light shiva. I tell you one thing: the water shiva is good for. He's good for blending. Guys, we actually have a Discord server of our own with a dedicated Monster Super League channel in it. So if you guys are interested in、uh, joining the Discord server, the invite link is in the video description down below. But yeah, it's a chill little server for people who play Monster Super League to hang out. So、ever since the last podcast, I've decided to include a blooper segment at the end of the podcast. So stay tuned for that、uh, if you guys are interested. All right. So you watchers and listeners are probably wondering what the heck this podcast's topic is about. Now today's podcast, Yugen and I are going to be、uh, looking at the new rebirth cycle for the month of July. And、um, what do we get again this month, Yugen? Fibian is this month's month for rebirth. Fibian, Fibian, right? Okay, so July rebirth. Let's meet Fibians. Interestingly enough, when I first started this game, I I keep calling this guy the Hammer Cat thing. Now you would remember this, wouldn't you? As I constantly complain to you about the amount of hammer cats I kept getting. Yeah, I knew it was a frog. I just didn't feel I said anything. Oh, so you knew I was wrong, and you just let me lose. Let me just carry on like that. And then one day, a friend of mine, Zephyr, told me, "Hey, you know what? It's actually a frog. Fibian, as in a amphibian." And I'm like, "Ah, it all makes sense now." It's a frog with a scroll, kind of like a ninja frog thing, like one of those things they have going on in Naruto and stuff. So,、uh, like, you mean like actually just Naruto? Yeah, I, I guess. But anyways,、yeah. I cannot convey the amount of hate I had for this guy at the start of the game because I kept getting him. Like, I I don't know what the rebirth cycles were. I thought you could get a Nemon from the game, but no, it was just like the ones in the pool, which happened to be Fibian at the time. So it's come full circle now.、Mm-hmm. All right, so this month's rebirth cycle is the ambitious Fibian. Let's take a look at every single element that this guy comes in, and、uh, Yugen and I will be discussing the skills and usability on these mods. Now, keep in mind, we're not, you know. Super experts in this game, so take our word with a grain of salt. But yeah, without further ado, here's what we think. Okay, so what do you think of the Fire Fibian, Yugen? The Fire Fibian is actually a decent mod to use for the Wood Titan. Both his skills are debuffs. First one's defense down. The second one is blind. Both which is good against Titans and. The leader skill is actually not too bad either. It ups the attack by at least thirty percent in clan battles, which is where you want to use them actually. So I think the fire fibian is actually not bad to have, at least for titans. Oh, that sixty percent chance for a defense down is a little bit on the low side, though, don't you think? It is a bit low, but it's better than nothing, right? I mean, out of the options that you have, this is not too bad. 
I guess I would always use the water shelly, but this being a the wood titan, you said. Was it? Yeah. Was it so you have the elemental advantage that won't do as much damage to you, plus the fire fibian is a tank, so ah. it'll last a while. Like it'll live through a lot. It'll be um, one of those Hana situations stuff. where they don't die. Hmm. Ideally. Okay. Wow. Interesting. Okay, moving on. The water element, Fibian. Okay, so for the、uh, normal normal passive skill, we have a adrenaline grants a hundred percent chance to restore twenty percent of own HP when attacking. Oh, that's a lot of self sustain. For the active skill, we have grants a seventy percent chance to stun the enemy for one turn. I remember fighting this guy on the story mode thing, and he would just. Stun my guys over and over again while self healing. It's a little bit annoying, so I feel like that goes to、uh, foreshadow how he might be possibly a fairly good mon to use in early Astromon League defense. What do you think, Yugen? Um, I suppose it depends. Like, what type is he again? Is he a defense mon or? He is a tank.、Hmm. Okay then. So that's actually. Not bad then, since he's a tank. The adrenaline is actually really good for tanks, and the stun. You know, at first glance, it's kind of crap. Seventy percent for one turn, but it's a, it's a tank.、Though. Yeah, it is an AOE. Yeah, that's what you gotta consider. So seventy percent chance to stun all four、uh, opponents. It's not bad. Yeah, Plus、I、he's think... a tank, right? He's um. Yeah, I think it's not so bad. I think he's okay. Like yeah, as you said, just for arena defense. Yeah, I think I think for early game arena defense, it's、um, fairly okay. But late、yeah. game, you definitely get some other options that will、uh, sort of outclass this guy, namely HP aggressors stacked with、uh, pugilist gems. That would be the shits. But yes, early game, he's not so bad. Yeah. Okay. Now moving on to the grass. Vivian, which is、uh, what? What is it? I think it's a balanced, balanced. Is, is, is it balanced? Yeah. Balanced. Yeah. Tiptoey balance. Okay, so for the normal attack, we have a eighty percent chance to reduce the enemy's defense for one turn. Now, if you will remember, back when we were talking about the fire one just two minutes ago, I think. That guy only had a sixty percent chance, but he does it for two turns. This guy has an eighty percent chance. He only does it for one turn. I would pick this guy over that, but I'd pick the water shelly over both of them to be honest. But the distinction here is that they are all three different elements. So yeah, they work against different enemies of elements, as you would expect, no doubt. The five star active skill. Is going to be a defense down, which grants a 60% chance to reduce the enemy's defense down, you know, for two turns. So that's ripped straight off from the first skill of the fire one. Interesting, interesting. But then, of course, being a active skill, it is going to be a AOE skill. So、um, it's quite a、uh, upgrade there. I don't know. This is the one that I chose to invest in personally, aside from a light and dark one, of course. But yeah, out of the RGB ones, this is the one I chose to invest in. What do you think about this, Yugen? Um, I look at him in the same way as I do with the Fire Fabian. So in a seductive way, you mean? How so? <laughs> 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 I'm just kidding with you. Okay. As in, they're both good for the respective titans. So, so the grass、um, one will be good for the water titan. I was going to build him for the titan team as well. You know, the, the fire one's was... a tank though, so maybe it will survive longer. I don't know. Yeah, this yeah, one's. I think it will. Balance, but it's still useful for titans regardless. Um, just because the. Water Titan will do less damage to Wood Mons, so he's still pretty good. Like you do need that defense down for Titans anyway, one way or another. Okay, wait. Something that's been bothering me is that、uh, 
These guys, they have the increased allies attack by 30 to 35% in clan battles, but they are a defense debuffer, so you would want them on the team on the left hand side, the debuffers team. But the Correct. perk, their leader skill works better for the guys on the right hand side. The super smashers, the guys that are about to deal damage after the debuff has been applied to the naked guy in the loincloth. So this is a little bit weird. Hmm. Right, so it's not perfect, this one. Ideally, uh, their leader skill would be maybe an HP or defense up, but it's not. You got the attack up, which is better for the, you know, the ones on the right hand side, the attackers. Okay, so next up we have the light and dark ones. Ooh. Okay, so for the light one, for the three star, uh, no more attack skill, we have a grant 70% chance to seal the enemy for two turns. Sealed foes passive skills do not activate. Hmm, interesting. And then for the 5 star active skill, we have grant a 70% chance to stun the enemy for one turns. Uh, it says enemy, but I believe it's an enemy with a plural because it's an AoE attack, so. That, that's interesting. So slightly higher chance to stun AOE than the grass one, but only for one turn. I think I'd take this over the other one, to be honest. But yeah. Uh, you mean the water one, and it's actually the same. Oh yes, the water one. Yeah. Oh. The water one actually also has a 70% chance stun for one ah, turn. Ah yes, yes. The grass one has the defense down. My bad. These icons, they're just all red with a icon inside of it. But this one's a spiral icon, so don't get messed up like I did. So what do you think about light one, Yugen? I don't like it, actually. Don't I don't like know where it. I don't I don't know where I would use it. No. Why are you why are you so Phibiancist? I'm not. I like the wood one, I like the fire one. The water one's actually okay as well. But the light one I don't like. You don't accept them for who they are, regardless of their Element. Why won't like like you accept Water Shiva? Because he's a naked chest bearing guy. I don't want him in my team full of lollies. Legit argument. So serious conversation now. Uh, you don't like the light, Fibian. Well, I got news for you, partner. He don't quite like you either. What do you uh, say to that? That's okay, I suppose. I, I guess the feeling will be mutual then. I just don't know where I would use him. Like, I have no clue. What is he anyways? He is a defender, so you want him to defend things. Hmm, I think at best, I guess you would use him for arena PvP defense, but That's he will struggle. I think he will struggle, yeah. Well, with his little seal. Mm. Oh no, don't get sealed. It's not like I can just pump damage and just destroy you regardless. Mm. Yeah, the thing is the rate isn't even that high, so he, he might have a bit of trouble. And it's only for one turn, isn't it? Oh, well, it's <laughs> two turns, but oh, still. okay, but he's dead in two turns, so what the hell's the point, you know? Mm. Mm. You viewers out there, or listeners, if you have a different view on this, a different opinion on this, we, we'd like to hear your thoughts on it, honestly. Really can't figure out a uh, useful scenario for this guy. He's not good for titans because seal and stun don't work on that guy. Uh, I guess he could be a filler clan vs clan guy, but I feel like he'll just get pumped full of destruction. Anything. Like yeah, just, just anything. This guy won't last, I'm sure. Like, like people look at him the wrong way and he'll like faint. Okay, so that is our take on the light one. Now let's move on to the dark Phibian. The Dark Fibian has Battle Rush for his 3 star normal attack skill. So for those of you who don't know, oh okay, well I didn't know this either. <laughs> but um, critical hits restore 20% of own HP and SP. So for, in order for his Battle Rush to kick in, he actually needs to land those critical hits. 
Now that sucks because um, I was going to boast about how I got my Dark Phibian uh, last night and only I think four rebirths, but he had no square, so there goes my boasting out the window, just like that. Now for his five star active skill, he has attack restores allies HP in a amount equal to 10% of own max HP. Now what what is he anyways? Is he an attacker or is he a tank? I think he was I think a he's tank. balanced. I think he's balanced actually. Okay, it is. Let's confirm that you are wrong. Let's confirm. Oh fuck, you're right. Okay. Never mind. I was the one that said he was balanced there. Yeah, let's just go with that. Wink. Alright. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad it's all recorded and we know who's right and who's wrong now. <laughs> okay, so what's your take on this guy, man? Um, I think he's... Generally, he's good, but not great. That's my opinion. Um, oh, good but not great. Just like everything yeah. else. Battle Rush is good. It gives him a lot of durability. Mm. Adrenaline that restores allies HP by 10% is good as well, but because he's a balanced mon and not a tank, the effectiveness of that is limited. But it's still alright. It's not bad. So I feel like he's kind of in the middle. Like he's good in a general sense. Like he can be used, I guess, anywhere. But he won't be great at anything, in my opinion. You know, my take on this guy, though, is that every time I see him in the arena, I'm like, oh man, this guy's a slim line design Darkmon. He looks like the kind that will do critical damage and do a lot of damage. I don't know his skills, but he looks very threatening. So I'm just going to attack him first. And he usually gets decimated, pummeled, and turned to a pile of smoldering ash buried beneath the tiles of the Astromon League. So, I feel like this guy is quite frail. What do you think? Yeah, I think people would typically uh, try and put HP gems on him just for the get the most out of the battle rush and the adrenaline. Oh, but okay. the thing is his base stats for his defense, you know, and HP isn't that great anyway. So even if you put all the gems into HP, it's not going to be as good as if he was a, if he were a tank. Or if you just had a tank one in your defense team. You know, I honestly thought you would give this guy a little bit more love, seeing as how much you love Sasuke from the Naruto franchise. And this guy is just the essence of Sasuke. Did He's I say okay, Sasuke though. or Sasuke? Sasuke? Wait, Sasuke? Well, they're, they're the fuck, they're, it's all the same. Doesn't matter. Okay, whoa, you heard it here first, folks. Okay, the surprising revelations every day. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I thought you would give this guy more love. He's not a bad mod, in my opinion. I think you can Sasuke find, was find not some bad either. Him. Sasuke what was. What are you talking about? What he he was wasn't a bad dude. He was just misunderstood, right? Oh wait, he was misunderstanding other things. So he was the misunderstander, not the one that was misunderstood. Or well, maybe it was both. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, wait, what were we talking about? I have no idea. Whoa, how do you have no idea, bro? I'm supposed to keep track on this thing, man. <laughs> What's Sasuke got to do with anything? Because <laughs> he's like Froske. So he's fucking Sasuke, but as a frog. Froske? Yeah, so, because Naruto's like the ninja guy with the scroll, but then Sasuke is the one with the ske and the color scheme. So this frog is in essence a combination of Naruto and Sasuke's embodiment into one anthropomorphic amphibian. Yeah. No. <laughs> Oh my god. That's a that's a that's a long that was a long phrase. Yeah. Okay. Shit. So yeah, I thought you had this guy's back, man. I thought you like I thought you would like him a little bit more than you've been suggesting. 
he's okay. He's not a bad mod. I think you can find use for him everywhere since he has like he's like um an all rounder, so I think you can fit him anywhere. He's just not gonna be amazing at any one given thing. But in general, he's good across the board. So he's not bad. I don't hate the guy. I dip I think I'll definitely try and roll one. So you don't hate the guy, just like you don't hate Sasuke. No, I like this guy over Sasuke. Hey, remember that time somebody impersonated you and called himself Sasuke? That was pretty funny, wasn't it? I do not recall any such time. Oh, come on now. We all know that's not true. Or do we? He even had a Wikipedia page about him. <laughs> what? Oh, that guy. <laughs> oh, yeah, shit. Oh, see? You do remember! You do remember! <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, so there was one such guy, I just oh my God. I totally forgot. I'm, I'm channeling the inner Stylosala. <laughs> oh man. Man, this podcast has been a real mess. Sorry guys, this is the first time we're actually trying to cover these Reaper things, so things are a little bit inappropriate and shaky in aspects. Hope you guys will bear with us, um, you know, without inexperience experience it's all you can's fault i tell you but anyways um overall which is your favorite phibian yugen that is a good question hmm out of all of these i feel like the dark phibian is the most interesting mm, but so you do like sasuke i knew it i knew it <laughs> In terms of practicality, though, I would take the wood and fire Phibian uh, over the dark one. Like, no, okay. yeah, I, I feel like those two are equally as good, in my own opinion. You know, I was going to work towards a light one, but you've uh, talked enough shit about the light one in this podcast, which was uh, actually news to me. I don't know shit about that guy. Maybe I shouldn't say this in the podcast because um, then I'd be like less creditable. Ah, fuck it. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't. I don't really care. That that's all good. But yeah, like throughout this podcast, I've learned that the light one is um actually not too great. Not too great in terms of what we need them specifically for. I mean, sure, he's usable, but just not sure where exactly we want to fit him in. He's not going to be sealing any titans because they're completely immune to that. And in terms of PvP. I mean, like the Astromon League stuff, you have better options. So we don't know. And he's not a great farmer because I don't know. He just doesn't seem like a great farmer. But feel free to disagree with us. And if you have a scenario where he's uh, very optimized for, please let us know because we don't know everything, uh, especially me. I, I know none of the shit. So it's great to hear what you guys have to say. As for me, I think my go-to, my, my personal pick, is going to be the dark one and also one of the grass ones because, uh, w wait, why am I getting the grass ones again? Titan. Oh yes, the, yeah, the titans, yeah, that, that's the reason because I have a whole bunch of water shellies for defense down for everything that is not the grass titan. But the Wood Titan is like the last Titan I need to worry about because he's got this big ass wanted poster plastered, you know, with his face on it. And good old Yugen here has like three fucking nukers that nukes Wood Titans. Actually, you know, the entirety of our clan, they are just obsessed with uh, beating the shit out of the Wood Titan. So, yeah. Hmm. Wait, so what am I using the wood ones for? Like, so he's titans. good. Yeah, the, the water titans, right? Water titan, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you heard it here first, folks. I'm using them for the water titan. That's my plan. I knew it from day one. Yes. Wait, what am I using a dark one for? Why, why, why do I want this guy? I, I already have him, but why do I... Oh, I mean, why not? He's not bad. I mean, he's, he's not, not, like he's I said, good. he's not great at any one given thing, but he's still... Okay, he's an okay mine. You might as well have one. 
Uh, well, I suppose it's better to have him than not have him. Yeah. Okay, guys. So that is going to be it for the、uh, you know our coverage of the July、uh, Fabian rebirth cycle stuff. Feel free to let us know down in the comment section below if you guys have、uh, differing opinions on these rebirth mons. You know, in particular, like what kind of what kind of scenario would you use the、uh, the light Fabian for? But yeah, other than that. We do have a Discord server available, so、um, if you guys are interested in that, check out the link in the video description down below. But with that being said, guys, this is going to be Mighty Leafy and Yukin signing off for another podcast. Catch you guys next time. Hello, hello, hi, hello. I think we have a new pe- people, new person in our. Just go hi, what's up? There, that's that's pretty cool. A new people person. That's like the best kind of person. Well, he arrived twice. So, what do you? Th- <laughs> <laughs> so he came and, and then left and then came back and was like, "Oh no, this is the right place." Yeah, maybe. It's it's like sometimes you go in a shop and then you、uh, walk out and then you walk back in. And, You know, like yeah, like, you check the check the name of the shop. Wait, is this right? Yeah, no, that's right. Wait, are you eating something? Fruit. Hmm. Is it cherries? Oh shit, that's dodgy. <laughs> no, not the season for cherries yet. Do you know what though? The game fucking knows me. I like dark mine next time. After that, water shiver bullshit. Fabians, as you know, you can actually、uh, encounter them very very easily, right, Yugen? Um, on what? What's it? Slumbering City, was it? Yeah. yeah. Remember those、uh, Fabian Quest? Man, those were the days, weren't they? Yeah. Fuck that. <laughs> I think <laughs> you were stuck like, on that one quest for like three weeks. <laughs> more than three weeks, man. It was like more, more than、months. three weeks. Wow. It was oh, months. Oh, this is a People, we have a astonishing development <laughs> of months. What the heck? What? Tell,、yeah. tell us more about that. What? What the heck? What? Enlighten me, please. Any audience, please. Well, the Phibians you need to、uh, get for one of the missions. They just do not appear when you need them to. They just don't. I think a lot of people can actually relate to this. Oh yeah.、Uh, I, I, I I got stuck on that quest. No, that that wasn't just the one quest. It was like two quests that was like that. And I actually Google this up. I I typed in Fabian glitch slumbering city or some 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 shit like that. And、uh, apparently it was a common problem for a lot of people. I swear I leveled up a few times when trying to find that guy. And you had to do it on a specific difficulty level as well because you need a specific element of it. Oh man, that was that was not great. That was pretty crap, actually. I that is by far the least favorite mission. It is a pain in the ass.